Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jersey Nick Moto. So about a week or two ago, I was talking to my buddy Jason, JP1970 on YouTube, out in Elko, Nevada, and he texted me and we were just bullshitting about Harley t-shirts. And he was telling me this story about he was talking to a friend and they were telling him he had too many Harley t-shirts. Well, at the time he told me he had about 17, but if you watch his channel, which you should, and if you don't, his info will be linked down below so you can. In one of his recent mail calls, he got two more from uh, Geelong Harley Davidson out in Australia. So at the time he told me he had 17, so let's say Jason got about 20 Harley shirts. And he texted me and he said that his friend told him he had too many. And he's like, do I, is, is that a bad number? You know, do I have too many? Do I have, is that a little, he said, I think I went a little crazy. Well, if you want to see crazy, my friend, I said, come talk to me. I told him I probably had close to 100. And I was close. And I'll let you know the number, the exact number, at the end of this video after I show you a few of them. But let's take a look. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you probably know that I've ridden to all of the lower 48 states on my motorcycle, myself and my buddy Bob. And what we would do is when we hit a new state that we haven't been before, we stopped at a Harley dealer and we bought a t-shirt from that state. And we missed a few of them because some of them, you know, we went through on a Sunday or we got to the state too late and they were closed and we didn't feel like stopping in the morning. But we got almost all of the lower 48 states. Maybe we missed about five or six. And also some of these are from, you know, local dealerships in New Jersey. And some of them are from close friends and family that, you know, have traveled and stopped at a Harley dealer and were kind enough to pick up a shirt for me. But the majority of these I rode to on my bike and bought them around the country. And we're not going to go over each one of them, but I will go through a few of them and give you a better look at them. But I got these all out today, laid them out on the floor, counted them up. And these don't count. These are all Harley Davidson dealer shirts. These don't count t-shirts I've gotten from motorcycle events and other brands. I have a couple Indian Larry motorcycle shirts and I have shirts from the Race of Gentlemen, Cheap Thrills. I got shirts from my buddy Jerry's 812 Garage, his company. But these are all Harley Davidson dealer shirts. Now what I'm going to say is going to sound like I'm lying because I'm going to say I didn't buy these to be a walking billboard for Harley Davidson. And I'm not the kind of guy that matches all Harley gear to my bike. These are mostly mementos from my travels of where I've been. So up here we got some long sleeves. We got, I got a bunch from Ocean County Harley. That's, I purchased, what is it, three bikes from them. And they're the dealer that I currently deal with for service and stuff like that. Uh, I got a bunch of shirts. This is from Nashville. I got a bunch of shirts from Nashville because I love Nashville. Ithaca, New York. I remember I went there. I didn't ride there. That was a weekend trip with an ex-girlfriend. That's another Ocean County. Hannams in Pennsylvania, I believe. Tremont in, in Hope, New Jersey. I love this dealership. They were the oldest dealership in New Jersey, and they recently closed. They used to have a really cool biker breakfast every Sunday morning. I'm going to miss that. California, I did... This isn't the one... I, this was... Um, a friend of mine went out to L.A. and got me this. The one I bought from California is San Diego. We'll find it. Another Lakewood one. Barb's. That's south, southern New Jersey. We got another Tremont in Mike's Famous. I think that's Maryland. All right, this one. This is from Rawway. Harley Davidson and Rawway. They used to be Liberty Harley. Now they're owned by Haddams. But I got this shirt when I bought my first Harley ever my first sports store I bought it there and they gave me this shirt for free and you can see it's a little more faded than the other ones because I'm kind of superstitious and I've worn this shirt the first day of every road trip I've been on and I always come back safe so that's why that shirt's a little worn out plus this is the first shirt I got I got this for free when I bought my first Harley. So that's always a special shirt. This was a buddy went to Chicago, picked that up. Another Ocean County one. What do we got? What do we got? 
Winchester, Virginia, Las Vegas. Now, all right, here's a little story about this one. This shirt from Las Vegas, my buddies and I, many, many years ago, when I was in my early 20s, we went to Las Vegas for the Memorial Day weekend. This is the only Harley shirt that I ever bought before I rode motorcycles. And because I was always into Harleys even before I rode. And I'll tell you, I didn't wear it much because it just didn't feel right because I wasn't riding yet. And I really didn't start wearing this a lot till after I got my first bike. And I think that's Powder Keg, Ohio. What's that? Another Ocean County, Lakewood. Another Jersey shirt, Atlantic City. This one, Shenandoah Harley. Down in Virginia. That's from the first road trip we took to Skyline Drive. That's what started it all. I also went back to that dealer another time when we took a different road trip to Skyline Drive. When a friend of ours needed a new battery in her bike. And I'll tell you, you know what I remember about that dealership? The goddamn entrance is like in the middle of a car dealer. And if you're not looking, I think I passed that place like four times before I found it. All right, this is a cool one. Rooster Harley Davidson. What is that? Sioux, Sioux City, Iowa. Another Vegas one. Hollywood. That was somebody. Somebody got that for me when they were in California. Another California one. Back from when we rode the Dragon. Harley Davidson. Another Ocean County. What is this? Bear Tooth, Montana. Oh, what do we got here? Holly of Long Branch, that has a different name now. Wherever that is. Chunky River. Where is that? Mississippi, I believe. Another Lakewood one. The Jersey Devil, he lives down in the Pine Marins. Uh, Roughneck Harley. What else we got? What else we got? Here's my San Diego one. We rode out to California. That is a trip I will never forget. It comes from Harley in San Diego. Platte River. This is Nebraska. Yeah, yeah. If you watch um Blacktop Blacktop Devil, they go to that dealer sometimes. I remember the girl that worked in there and sold me that shirt. She was very nice. Can't remember her name, but I sure remember her face. We got more. I think this is Utah. Yeah, Utah. Ithaca. Another Ocean County. Highlands. That was um, somewhere around Edison, New Jersey. That closed up. Uh, Auburn, Massachusetts. This may be the one. I remember it was when we were up north. This one, we rolled up to the dealer right after they closed and they looked out the window and they saw us with the bikes loaded up and i think it was the owner came and opened the door and he asked what we needed we said we were just gonna here to we were gonna pick up some t-shirts but we saw you were closed and he opened the dealership back up and let us buy shirts that was pretty cool new mexico new mexico's a pretty state this one i remember we stayed in the hotel was right across the parking lot from the Harley dealer. So the next morning we just walked through the parking lot to buy our t-shirt. I also remember is in that hotel parking lot, Bobby almost got killed because it was a long day riding and he blatantly cut off a pickup truck that almost smacked him, but all turned out good. This is a nice one. Oh, this is, ah, speaking of Jason, Elko, Nevada, Gold Rush Harley. That's where they tried to scare us about the road we were going to take up to Idaho. They said there was going to be these mad feral cows that were going to run out and kill us. You know, because I'm from New Jersey, never saw a cow. All right, there's a few more. Barb's, that's another Jersey one. Uh, what is that? Well, what am I looking at here? Minnesota. I think that's another Virginia. That's uh, St. Thomas. I don't remember who got me that. I don't know if it was an ex-girlfriend or what, but I never, I've never been to St. Thomas. Temecula, California. Longhorn Harley. When I went to meet up with my buddy Houdad a few years ago, it was very cool of him. He uh, First time we met in person, he actually gave me a $25 gift card to the Harley dealer because he says he loves to promote riding, and that that's really cool. I like this shirt a lot, Longhorn Harley. We're going we're gonna to stop and see him again this year when we go to Texas. 
more about that in another video. Oh, and if you've never seen the videos for all these road trips, go to my channel. I have a playlist, Motorcycle Road Trips, with all the videos from our travels. You can go back and watch them. What else we got? Savannah, Georgia. What's this? Pensacola, Florida. Doc Harley. Doc, excuse me, Doc Holiday, Harley Davidson, Colorado. I'm your Huckleberry. Hoosier, Indiana, another Rawway. Harley Davidson, another Ocean County. This is a Christmas one, I think. Yeah, another Christmas one somewhere. Yep, there's Santa. What else? What else? High Desert Harley in Idaho. If I'm correct, this is where JP1970 bought his Harley. I think. And if I remember, there was a sweet girl named Bailey. Bailey? Bailey? She took care of us. Another one from up north. Pennsylvania. Another Nashville one. Because I love Nashville. We'll be stopping in Nashville again this year. Uh, six Bends at Fort Myers. So we went down to Fort Myers to see my cousin a few years ago. And, you know bunch of other ones mixed in so yeah i'm pretty sure i have an addiction problem but you know you gotta have some kind of vice i don't, I don't smoke but for a few cigars i don't drink nearly as much as i did so you know i gotta have some kind of vice and traveling and getting mementos i guess that's one of them i know motorcycles definitely is and what i should have done i didn't start doing the poker chips until about halfway through when we were hitting the 48 states and so here's the poker chips over here where are they i don't have that many of them and half of them are probably from you know you people that we exchange chips and stickers and stuff like that so i just wanted to give you a look at my harley davidson t-shirt collection i want to thank jason jp1970 for inspiring me to do this video and as usual Please like, comment, and if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button so you see where I travel this year and many other videos. Got a lot of good things going to happen this year. And hopefully you saw your state or maybe your dealer somewhere in this whole mess of shirts that I have to go put back now. So thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Keep your head on a swivel out there. Oh, wait! <laughs> the purpose of this video. How many t-shirts do I have all together? Well, that's the final number. And give or take a few that over the years I gave away because they shrunk in the dryer or I bought them too small. I think I gave about six or seven away, so... I probably had at one point over 90. So let me say goodbye again. Thanks for watching Jersey Nick Moto. Please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Maybe you can help me out with my Harley Davidson t-shirt addiction. But no, they're not for sale. You can't have them. See you later, guys.